coverage you can count on continues with an Augusta woman and a former police officer describing what they remember about an electrocution at Fleming Park decades ago. The woman says her situation sounds eerily similar to what happened to 12-year-old Melquan Robinson. You'll remember he died after he was shocked by a fence at the same park just a few weeks ago. News Channel 6's Ashley Osborne has been following this developing story since young Melquan's death back in October. She's live in our newsroom. Ashley, a former Augusta officer tells you he remembers a little girl electrocuted at Fleming Park years ago. Brad, Crystal Underwood is now in her 30s. She says she was eight when she was rushed to the hospital after being electrocuted by a Fleming Park fence. And when she first shared her story on Facebook, we had our doubts. So we did some digging, and here's what we found. I could not believe that this was the same park and that some a child lost his life. Crystal Underwood shares what she says happened to her at eight years old. Same situation. I mean... He did nothing different but touch a fence, and that's the same thing that I did. Touched a fence and woke up in um, intensive care unit. Here's a court document dated June 24th, 1993. Crystal's mom, Janet, filed against the city of Augusta. A former police officer says he remembers when it happened. As heartbroken as I am for Mel Kwan's family, nothing that that I say will bring Mel Kwan back. Captain Jimmy Wilds is now at the Burke County Sheriff's Office, but he was an officer in Augusta for 40 years. There's a young lady that's come forward and said that she too was electrocuted at Fleming Park 27 years ago. I'm here to tell you that her story is credible. I was there. My son played baseball. I was coaching his team, and there was some commotion out behind the center field fence. Of course, being a police officer, uh, even though I was off duty, I run out there to see what was going on because I they said somebody had been injured, and when I get there, I find a young, uh, small, blonde-headed girl laying in the grass, and, and the best I remember, um, I pulled her from the grass onto the concrete because it was like there was something in the ground that just didn't feel right. I, I remember her laying there, and I was holding her hand, and she had been out of consciousness and had come back. She asked me, was she going to die? And I said, no, ma'am, you're not going to die. And I said, you'll be all right. He says that's when the emergency crews showed up and took her away in an ambulance. And to his knowledge, it never made the news, and that was that. I really never knew what happened to her since that day. Until he saw her story on Facebook this week. You remember children more than anything. Would that be a fair assessment? Yeah, that is, that is absolutely something that haunts you over the years is things that happen to kids. You don't forget those things? No. Not at all. We also talked to Tommy Boyles. He was the Parks and Rec director when Fleming Park was built in 1977. He retired in 1997. He tells me he doesn't remember something like this happening when he was director. We also emailed the city's legal department for a comment on this story. They have not responded.